funny records that I think you should be listening to. We'll just do this. Uh, was Wing It. First, Mascara, Juan de la Cruz. This has all my favorites. The Tabasa Arena is here. Beep Beep is here. Uh, Rock and Roll Sa Mundo is here. Balong Malalim is here. This might be difficult to find also, but this is Gapo. Uh, little known fact is that there's a lot of really good funk bands that came out from the Olonga scene. These are all 70s bands. Uh, Soul Jugglers, Hangmen being my favorites. Sorry, it ain't good. It's super good. I don't even know where they recorded it, but it sounds really good. So. Osmotantes. <laughs> Osmotantes were a uh, Brazilian band. And this is like weird psych, funk, and then half of the stuff sounds like Stereo Lab. Bell and Sebastian swear by this band. This is the Sonics. So every sandwich song, all of those single note stuffs come from one band. They're called the Sonics. And I got the idea from this uh, band's song called Have Love Will Travel and a combination of that and Here Comes Your Man by the Pixies, which the band really loves. Uh, Marina and I used to listen to this back in 91. Uh, top 10 favorite records of all time, Bell and Sebastian, if you're feeling sinister. It doesn't really sound like uh, a lot of the sandwich stuff, but my indie pop leanings uh, began with this record. I heard this in, I think this came out in 93 or 95, but this is a really good record. 30 by Sonic Youth. Not my favorite Sonic Youth record, but this is one of the earliest Sonic Youth records that I heard. Their first major label record. That's why we were able all to hear it. This came out in 89. It has Dirty Boots, which is Myrene's uh, email address. So the, the song that was really uh, a hit here is Cool Thing, which has hip hop. It has Chuck D on it, which again informed a lot of the sandwich stuff, you know, outside from the obvious. Blur. The, the band went to see Blur live in Hong Kong. That's the stuff that came out on uh, Thanks to the Moon. A lot of them were inspired by Blur. So we were listening to, to Room on Fire when we were doing Sugod. So it's, even though it sounds like Juan de la Cruz, but the truth is the guitar parts there, the, the call and response that Mong and I do was inspired by a lot of the Strokes stuff that we're doing in this record. David Axelrod, Songs of Experience. If you're a big DJ Shadow fan like Raymond and I are, a human abstract is one of the famous samples that he used. And I learned about David Axelrod through DJ Shadow. This is a great record to have. It's, uh, it's jazz, it's funk, it's weird. It's instrumental, but it's nice on a Sunday. Prince, uh, I Wanna Be Your Lover is here. And just from the album cover alone, you should get this. This is such a good record. This came out in 79. And he played every instrument here, including the drums including the bass, the keyboards, everything, you didn't know. Mike and I are huge James Brown fans. This is a compilation, but it's James Brown's Funky People, and he had produced Lynn Collins, who does Think, there's a big song, there's uh, Fred Wesley, who's his, uh, one of the people that plays uh, horns with him. Uh, Maceo Parker is the guy that plays horns with him, so it's like a compilation of of James Brown stuff and all his funky people, which I think Sandwich is also a part of. Your introduction to jazz could be two records. It could be either A Love Supreme by John Coltrane or Miles Davis' Kind of Blue. Uh, one, two, punch as the greatest jazz records ever done. Uh, are they my favorite? Maybe, maybe. I, I shift back and forth. I think I love uh, I love Supreme more, but this is not this is not hard jazz. This is not bebop. This is just really really easy to listen to. Pero ganda sobra. If you wanna you know start your jazz collection, you cannot go wrong with these two records. That's for sure. We're all big fans of LCD Sound System. This uh, was the first LCD Sound System record that we had, and. A lot of the stuff on Five on the Floor, the, the more disco-y stuff, was inspired by LCD. We're also big uh, punk fans. So these two records, if you want to have you, the starter kit for your little 
70s punk rock stuff. You can't go wrong with London Calling and Gang of Fours Entertainment. This was released in 79, I think. 79, correct? This one came out in 78. This might be top 10 records of all time. This might be top 30 records of all time. Check your head, Beastie Boys. When I first met Raymond, we were bonding because of the Beastie Boys. The story is that we always wanted to put up a band that was because of the Alternative Nation tour. It was we wanted to have rock like the Foo Fighters, have that weird uh, indie rock leanings of Sonic Youth. But really, the first band that we were really we became friends is because of the Beastie Boys. And this record came out uh, yeah around the same time we met. This is like 1991. Check your head. And this is the record that merges guitars because they're already playing live guitars in the, the previous album on uh, Paul's Boutique. But this one, there you can really hear the drums, the bass, the guitars. It's rock, but it's funk, it's hip hop. This is the beginnings of Sandwich. This one is really the beginnings of Sandwich. Jay Dilla, Donuts. These are like the, the newer stuff that uh, it's just not new, but. The older I got, I uh, as I started DJing, I became a big fan of all the beats that Dilla does. I know Raymond's a big fan of Dilla as well. Uh, this is a sad record. He made this record when he was already in the hospital and he had found out that he was, was about to die. So there's actually there's a story of him sort of basically his friends and family that Papa Alex he was about to pass away. This is a great record, a great record to have. A great primer to like the these weird beats. Na, na, now is a super uso na ngayon, but Dilla, Dilla's the, this one's a good record. Well, my favorite record in the last 20 years. Yankee, Hotel, Foxtrot, Wilco. Better than Radiohead number two lang. This is the number one record in the last 20 years. The best record. Uh, I got the cheats guys into this. Now they're, they all they do is listen to Wilco. Um, I had the chance to see them live. They're also one of the greatest live acts. Ooh, yeah, this is a great record. Yay!